गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सिक्यूज फॉर थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन ढोलपुर करौली इज द रिसेंटली अप्रूव्ड टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ विच इंडियन स्टेट सो द यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज हैज अकॉर्डेड द फाइनल अप्रूवल to the fifth tiger reserve of Rajasthan state that is Dholpur Karoli and it is country's 53rd tiger reserve fine so ministry also gave in principle approval to declare Kumbhalgarh as a tiger reserve in Rajasthan and the other four tiger reserves in Rajasthan are the first is Ranthambore tiger reserve the second one is uh, Sariska tiger reserve then third one is mukundra hills tiger reserve and last one is ramgarh vishdhari tiger reserve right so dholpur karoli is the tiger reserve of rajasthan state now let's talk about some of the important tiger reserves that were in news and are frequently asked in your examination the first one is here bandipur tiger reserve and it lies in the state of karnataka second is corbet corbet tiger reserve lies in uttarakhand state The third one is Kanha. Kanha is very important and it lies in Madhya Pradesh state. Fourth one is Manas and Manas lies in Assam state. Next one is Melghat and Melghat Tiger Reserve is a part of Maharashtra state. After that next is Palamu Tiger Reserve lies in Jharkhand state. The next is Simlipal. Do not get confused between Simlipal and Sariska. Sariska lies in Rajasthan and Simli Pal is a tiger reserve from the state of Odisha right and there is Sundarban everyone knows this Sundarban lies in West Bengal state after that next is Periyar and Periyar tiger reserve has been named because of Periyar river and it lies in Kerala state and other is Baksa tiger reserve Baksa lies in West Bengal then one more is Indravati Indravati Tiger Reserve is a part of Chhattisgarh state and one last is Namdapha Namdapha Tiger Reserve is a part of Arunachal Pradesh state right so these are some of the important tiger reserves that you have to remember the next question is which state or the union territory implements the chief minister breakfast scheme so in the state of Tamil Nadu chief minister MK Stalin has extended this particular scheme to 31000 schools across the state benefiting 17 lakh students initially the scheme was devised to provide nutritious breakfast to 1 lakh 14095 students of classes 1 to 5 who are studying in different 1545 government schools and the amount of 33.56 crore rupees was allocated for this particular scheme okay so tamil nadu implements the chief minister breakfast scheme now apart from it we have talked about the north eastern special infrastructure development scheme few days back and this is the centrally sponsored scheme under which the share of center is total 100% right why this scheme was in news because recently the center has approved this scheme to get continued from 2022 23 up to 2025 to 26 right and initially this scheme was launched in the year 2017 okay after that in which state of india the southeast asia's largest desalination plant is to come up so this is tamil nadu state tamil nadu has decided to set up this particular plant which is the biggest in whole southeast asia also recently karnataka state has decided to set up a committee to formulate their own education policy for the state and it will actually scrap the national education policy right now which state is the host for women's asian champions trophy 2023 this state is jharkhand and this championship would take place from 27th of october up to 5th of november 
2023 fine so these are some state related current affairs next is which movie won the best feature film award at the 69th national film awards in 2023 this is rocketry the nambi effect and it was adjudged the best feature film at the 69th national film awards and best actor award went to allu arjun while alia bhat and kriti senan share the best actress award so the movie triple r won total 6 awards which are these the first one is best music direction then second is best special effect the next award is best choreography the fourth award is best action direction or you can say stunt choreography the fifth one is best popular film which actually provides wholesome entertainment and the last one is best male playback singer these are the six awards that triple r got during this award okay so the best feature film award goes to rocketry the nambi effect now let's talk about some important awards and honors first of all the swamitv scheme has got the national award for e governance what is the full form of swamitv survey of villages abadi and mapping with improvised technology in the village areas right what is this survey of villages abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas and swamitv scheme works under ministry of panchayati raj recently this scheme won the national award for e governance also recently prime minister narendra modi has got one more international award that is the grand cross of the order of honor from the country greece you have to tell me which two international awards have been won by our prime minister recently please write your answer in the comment section also don't forget to mention our president draupadi murmu has won which international award now ratan tata has been recently conferred with the first udyog ratna award that is conferred by the state of maharashtra also baikalla railway station has got recently the unesco's asia pacific cultural heritage award okay next question is rafael nadal has been named as the ambassador for which indian technology brand we have discussed this question if you remember recently infosys has announced entering into a 3 year partnership with the tennis legend rafael nadal he is 22 times grand slam champion and now he will be serving as the brand ambassador for the infosys brand and infosys digital innovation so infosys will collaborate with rafael nadal on the development of cutting edge digital innovation projects okay also don't forget that infosys has recently signed iga swiatik as well as its brand ambassador and iga swiatik is women's tennis champion and currently she is at number 1 in the world tennis rankings right don't forget that bpcl bharat petroleum corporation limited has signed rahul dravid as its brand ambassador right and sachin tendulkar is also important because election commission of india has chosen sachin tendulkar as its national icon for voter awareness and education also maharashtra state has chosen sachin tendulkar as its smile ambassador why to promote swachh mukk abhiyan okay so maharashtra state has selected sachin tendulkar as its smile ambassador next question is which country is to play host to the men's tennis tours next generation atp finals from 2023 to 2027 so the next generation finals for men's under 21 tennis players will be held in the country saudi arabia in its city of jeddah from 2023 to 27 so the atp makes its final competitive entry into the gulf state and this tournament which has been played in milan since it began in the year 2017 will also have its prize money increased to a record of 2 million dollars up from 
1.4 million dollars last year okay so saudi arabia is set to host the men's tennis tours next generation atp finals from 2023 to 2027 also if we talk about the 25th asia athletics championship 2023 the venue of which was bangkok thailand india in total won 27 medals out of which 6 were gold 12 were silver and 19 were bronze okay which country was at the first position china and second was japan and third was india okay this was all about asian athletics championship now who is our 83rd number of grandmaster this is aditya samant and he belongs to maharashtra state right also if you talk about asian champions trophy india has won this title by defeating the country malaysia right and who is the new president of basketball federation of india this is adhav arjun this name is important okay next question is which institution released a report on growth rate of retail sales of india's ultra processed food sector so india's ultra processed food sector grew at a compound annual growth rate of 13.37% in retail sales value from 2011 to 2021 and this was found in a report by the world health organization with the indian council for research on international economic relations found okay so this report was released by who that is world health organization also recently which institution has recommended a 5 year license for food business operators this is food regulator fssai food safety and standards authority of india recently they said that a central advisory committee has recommended that licenses to food businesses operators can be issued for up to 5 years now instead of 1 year and they will actually train the food handlers in hygiene protocols such as hazard analysis of critical control points fine so you can be asked that which institution has recommended a 5 year license for food business operators rather than 1 year so that would be fssai also can you tell me which country has developed a humanoid robot called as apollo that is designed to work alongside the humans so us based robotics startup aptronic has developed a humanoid robot that is designed to work alongside humans and this robot is called as apollo 5 which is 5 feet 8 inches tall and it weighs 72.6 kg and this apollo can handle the weight up to 25 kg and it has been designed in such a way that it can work safely alongside the humans so it works on electricity and is fitted with a 4 hour battery that can be charged okay simply you can be asked that which country has developed this humanoid robot called as apollo that is designed to work alongside human so answer would be usa next is which indian city has secured its first position in the swachh vayu sarvekshan 2023 So this Indore has secured first position in the Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2023 which is conducted by CPCB means Central Pollution of Control Board. So according to a release in the category of cities with a population of more than 10 lakhs in the Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 23 Indore has secured the first position Agra was at the second position and Srinagar was at fourth while Bhopal ranked at fifth. Okay, so these were the top five cities in the Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2023. Also, what was the rank of India in the global rankings for direct selling? This is eleventh. India was placed at eleventh position as per the study by WFDSA, means World Federation of Direct Selling Association. And if we talk about the Hindley Passport Index 2023, in this The world's most powerful passport is of Singapore. Singapore was placed at first position. India was ranked at 80th place along with two more countries which are these Togo and Senegal. Right? 
and all of these three countries have access to total 57 countries fine and singapore passport can provide you access in 192 countries out of 227 countries right so this Hanley passport index is important in which india has been ranked at 80th position at second position there were three countries together germany italy and spain fine if you talk about export preparedness index in this tamil nadu has topped this ranking and at second there was maharashtra and maharashtra was further followed by karnataka state at third position next is who has been appointed as chairperson of the national green tribunal so former chief justice of kolkata high court justice prakash shrivastav took oath as the new chairperson of the national green tribunal and before him the center had appointed justice shio kumar singh as the acting chairperson on the retirement of justice adarsh kumar goel we know him as ak goel right so currently who is the chairperson of national green tribunal this is justice prakash shrivastav also who is the new chief justice of odisha high court this is justice subhashish tala patra okay then who is the new chief justice of bombay high court answer would be justice devendra kumar upadhyay okay then who is the new chief justice of kerala high court answer would be justice ashish jitendra desai fine after that who is the new chief justice of telangana high court answer would be justice alok arathe fine and who is the 25th director general of indian coast guard answer would be mr rakesh pal okay next is when is the international day for the remembrance of the slave trade and its abolition observed so this day is observed every year on 23rd of august and it was first celebrated in a number of countries particularly in haiti and it is intended to inscribe the tragedy of the slave trade in the memory of all the peoples okay so this day is observed every year on 23rd of august now let's revise some important days and themes first of all we observe the women's equality day on 26th of august every year and this year the theme is embrace equity fine then world senior citizen day is observed every year on 21st of august then we observe the world mosquito day on 20th of august and we celebrate the national small industry day on 30th of august fine next is g20 pandemic fund granted 25 million dollars to which country's animal husbandry and dairying department so g20 pandemic fund has granted 25 million dollars to india's animal husbandry and dairying department so as to help in pandemic preparedness and response so as per the ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying this funding will improve india's animal health system which is a crucial part of one health approach for pandemic prevention right so g20 pandemic fund has granted this much amount to india's animal husbandry and dairying department also international finance corporation is set to invest up to 100 million dollars in which indian company so this corporation is set to invest up to 100 million dollars in iifl home finance limited so as to increase the access to housing finance for economically weaker section and low income groups including the women borrowers in india so this investment aims to catalyze india's affordable housing sector so as to foster eco-friendly construction practices and contribute to india's climate objectives right so here correct answer would be iifl home finance limited also which ministry is associated with mera bill mera adhikar initiative so to promote the practice of customers requesting invoices or bills for all the purchases 
the government of india is introducing the invoice incentive scheme known as mera bill mera adhikar in collaboration with different state governments so this scheme will be launched on 1st of september 2023 and this initiative will apply to all business to consumer invoices that are provided to the customers by gst registered suppliers in participating states and a lucky draw must have at least 200 rupees worth of invoices to qualify okay simply you have to remember that mera bill mera adhikar initiative is associated with ministry of finance okay now the last question says which state launched india's first village atlas so chief minister of goa mr pramod savant released the biodiversity atlas of mime in north goa which is india's very first village atlas and the function was jointly organized by mime gram panchayat biodiversity management committee along with the government of goa okay so the government will come up with a biodiversity atlas of all 191 panchayats in the state very soon so india's first village atlas has been launched by the state of goa also a nine member committee headed by former principal scientific advisor to the government k vijay raghavan has been set up by ministry of defense why so as to review the functioning of defense research and development organization that is drdo and this committee will suggest restructuring and redefining of its role so as to improve the output of the state owned agency which would actually help the government to make india self reliant in military sector fine so who is the head of the committee set up to review the functioning of drdo answer would be mr k vijay raghavan also don't forget that indian badminton player h s pranay finished with a bronze medal in the men's singles title at the bwf world badminton championships after losing his semi final match in copenhagen in denmark so he is currently world number 9 and he won the bronze medal in the men's singles at the BWF World Badminton Championships 2023 answer would be hs pranay so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this me nuzhat sana signing off